Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, dogs, and happy Friday. Today we'll hear about this weekend's weather, Bye Bye Birdie, sports results from last night, and important information about DECA, Student Council, Learning to Lead, and Prom. So, Allie, what are you doing this weekend? I have a track meet tomorrow morning, and then I'm going to the musical tomorrow night, and then I have senior pictures on Sunday. What about you? On the Saturday, I'm going to be in the musical at 7 p.m. Everybody should come check it out, and... Sunday, I'm really not doing much of anything. <laughs> it's now time for weather, or er, weekend war dogs. <laughs> I'm here with Alyssa Kelly. Alyssa, what are you doing over the weekend? Um, I have a track meet Saturday, and then me and Allie have planes to go to the mover <laughs> musical. All right, I'll see you there. I'll be in the pit. Yeah, we got here, Noah. What are you doing over the weekend? Don't say party. Uh, well, I have a county track meet at Frankfurt about 9 o'clock in the morning to be there. A little later that night at 7.30. Uh, plug it for Alex, Clinton Central, senior versus alum game. Watch your fellow hot dog basketball seniors play basketball. Let's get to the bunch of old men. All right. Yeah, 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 good weekend, right? Uh, I'm playing good at movies and it's now time for weather with Ivan. <laughs> All right, hello FHS. Uh, <laughs> today is going to be high of 61 and a low of 37. Uh, it's currently 51 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 56 degrees, and at three, it's going to be 59 degrees. Tomorrow, if you guys go to the musical, it's going to be 48 degrees. And if you guys have not seen Marvel and Fivity, here's a little spoil alert. You guys ready for it? Batman dies. Back to the studio. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ivan. Don't forget to check out Bye Bye Birdie tonight and tomorrow at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Class officer sign-up sheets and student council applications for the 2018-2019 school year are available outside of both Mrs. Isgrig and Mrs. Hale's rooms. Anyone interested in running for a class officer position must sign up on the sheet and fill out an application. Applications are due this Monday. Prom tickets are on sale now in the bookstore for $25 per person. Each student needs to have a signed permission form before purchasing a ticket since the dance is at Purdue. Don't wait until last minute to get your tickets. And be sure to have your school ID with you to be admitted into prom. If you need, a, if you need to purchase a new ID, you can see Mrs. Debris in the main office, and for $2, she will print a new one for you. All freshmen interested in joining Learning to Lead, Nancy Elsie will be in the FHS cafeteria during community on May 1st. Sign up in student services to attend this meeting. Strides for Stacy is Saturday, May 19th at 9 a.m. Register by next Tuesday to ensure that you get a t-shirt for the event. Registration papers are, are available in the bookstore. The 40th annual Flora Hog Jog is Saturday, June 16th. The registration fee is $20 and registration will close on June 13th. Seniors, be sure you are filling out the Who's Who and Wills and Memorials Google Forms by the for the senior edition of The High Life by today. Applications for the 2018-2019 DECA leadership team are due next week. Stop by the DECA room to pick up an officer application if interested. Now time for sports with Nick. Thanks. All right, we have a lot of sports to cover, so just bear with me. It's, it's not my fault. The varsity baseball team completed the conference sweep of North Montgomery last night with a 2-1 victory in eight innings. Christian Lopez six, or pitched six great innings, and Jose came in with in relief for two innings and got the win. The team is now tied for first in the conference at five wins and two losses. In JV baseball action, the Hot Dogs fell to Western Boone by a score of 10-3. This snapped a three-game win streak for the Hot Dogs. It was a tight game till the fifth inning when their defense slipped up and they just couldn't find a groove in the batter's box. 
The Frankfurt Hot Dog Varsity Softball Team shut out Northmont again on Thursday with a score of 12-0. Michaela Harper pitched five innings, allowing zero runs on four hits and also struck out four. Chloe Roberts led the Hot Dogs going three for four. Avery Drew and Morgan Dean also had two hits. The Lady Hot Dogs are back in action Friday evening at Crawfordsville with the varsity starting at 5.30 and the JV following. The Frankfurt Hot Dog Golf Team fell to Tri-West 158 to 189, but they beat Crawfordsville 189 to 199. The Hot Dog scores were JT Whitlock with 44, Simon Weber with 45, Casey Klez with 49, and Nolan Varner with a 51. The Hot Dogs traveled to Lebanon Country Club Saturday for a 16-team invite with all the best golf teams in Indiana. Last night, the Lady Hot Dogs tennis team hosted their first conference match of the season, being Lester Boone 3-2. All three singles players, Emily Michael, Annie Giebel, and Riley Isgrig, won their matches. With the team victory, the Lady Hot Dogs are now 7-1, and their next match will be against Northmont at home. The track team had another night of outstanding performances. Both teams came out victorious in the four-way meet with Attica, Delphi, and North White. Between both teams, there are over 20 personal best records that were broken. Highlights of the night include Colton Crum being the school record again with a jump of 17 feet and 4 inches. No surprise, he got first. He always does. Alyssa Kelly got first in the long jump. Both boys and girls won the 4x800 relays. The girls 4x100 came in first. Jared Wells placed first in the 3200 and the 800. Hugo Hernandez got first in the 1600. Blasia Salee placed first in the 4x400 and the 800. And finally, the hot dog team will be hosting the county meet tomorrow, so make sure to go out and support them. <sighs> That's it for sports. Now we can finally go back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. The bookstore will be closed today and will open back up on Monday. That's all for the daily announcements. Have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend. Bene, it was just a drill.